Okay guys, so we're on the ride on this beautiful Kawasaki Z900 that I very kindly have borrowed from On Your Bike in Aylesbury. Now as you are probably aware I have a 17 plate Z900 so I was really interested to take this out and see what it's like compared to my Z. Uh, and I'm sure you know that I am a huge fan of my Z. I love it. So this is a, a 948cc inline four engine. So that hasn't changed. Uh, what has changed interestingly is the seat height. So it's a much higher seat. A seat height of 820 millimeters. Um, which to, for some probably will make a difference. Uh, it's all right for me. Uh, it's still quite comfortable. It's just really nice to ride, very comfortable, very smooth. Hasn't lost any of its charm. So it weighs 212 kilos. So this has three modes, road, rain and sport. Um, and having tried all the modes, I've popped it in sport. Prefer that, really suits me and my riding. Um, handles really nicely. <laughs> oh, love it. Now, we are in the middle of winter, so the roads aren't particularly good. We've had salt on the roads, so the roads are not drying out. They're a bit wet and slimy, so I'm having to be a little bit careful. And the temperature is, oh, I think it might be as much as three degrees. But oh my goodness, it feels a lot colder. First thing I did, or well, I do actually on all of my bikes when I get them, is put heated grips on. So that would have to be one of the first things I did on this. And when I stop for an up close and personal look at the bike with you guys, you will see it needs a tail tidy. So it's a toss up between heated grits and tail tidy, which is first, but if I could, I'd do them on the same day. So my Z, I've had it for six years now, and it's, I have another bike, and I have a lot of other bikes that I have on loan to ride and review. But I've still done 32,000 miles on my Z. It's a cracking bike. Uh, and I, I go touring on it as well. I've done a lot of Europe on it, this country, UK. It really is a very comfortable bike to ride all day. Uh, and th this, this Z900, the new one, no different so comfortable very smooth i i honestly can't see or feel that there's much difference in the actual bike other than the seat height and maybe a couple more bhp but it's nice really nice very comfortable The new Z900 has got a TFT screen, um, which is very easy to read, tells you all you need to know at a glance. And it also has smartphone technology, so you can connect it to the Kawasaki app um, and have messages, phone, etc. through that, which is, that's really good. That would be useful.
<laughs> oh, I love it. I love this bike. Honestly, it's just such an awesome bike to ride. So much fun. It's incredibly comfortable. And it goes well. So on the, when I go touring on my Z, I've got a Ventura kit. So I've got racks on the back and the bag sits on the back where the pillion seat would go. And you wouldn't even notice on there. It doesn't notice the difference. doesn't upset the weight. And like I say, you can ride it all day. And this one is no exception. I do love this bike, I have to say. It's really nice. Got a nice quality feel to it as well. It feels solid, nicely put together. you guys have enjoyed your ride along with me thank you very much for coming with me it's been really good to have you along have some company which is nice don't forget to check out my website bikercaz.com and to follow will be a written review on this z900 as well as the video um, and if you could please subscribe to my channel um, that would be amazing. Your support is really, really appreciated. It really helps me and my channel. So thank you. So it is really, really cold out here. Uh, I need to go and find a coffee and uh, warm up a little bit. Um, so I will catch you guys later. See ya. Hi guys, Biker Kaz here. Now today I've very kindly got on loan this rather gorgeous Kawasaki Z900, um, which I've got on loan from On Your Bike in Aylesbury. Um, got to say, absolutely love the colours. I mean, the red frame and the red, red wheels, just amazing. Um, and the little attention to details on the wheels, if you can see, it's even got the Z900 on the wheels. I mean, how cool is that? But no, really nice. Um, now, as you probably know, I have one of these. Um, so I wanted to take it out, see what it was like to ride. Um, got to say, really impressed with it. Um, you know, my first thing is going to be tail tidy. I mean, you know, that's that's got to come off, hasn't it? Um, but you know, that's all new bikes. So that's, when you buy a new bike, you've got to put a tail tidy on. Um, and the other thing I would do is the exhaust. Don't know if you can see that there. Uh, not particularly attractive, um, but you know, there you go. That would be uh, one of my first things I'd do. Um, and it would be nice if heated grips came as standard, but unfortunately they don't. Um, so it is 212 kilograms in weight and the seat height is 820 so a little bit taller than my one i'll just sit on it for you so you can but feet still pretty much on the floor so quite nice very comfortable comfortable riding position um uh, yeah really solid solid bike there so it's the um, it's actually called a Z900, but as you probably know, it's actually got a 948 engine in it. Um, and it's 123 bhp, so it does go rather well. Um, and on here it has a TFT screen. So if I just 
uh, turn the screen on for you. You see Kawasaki come up. So that is really easy and nice to read. Very clear, very simple. It says what you need. Obviously the gears, the fuel, revs, uh, what gear you're in. Um, and then you've got down here range and um, the mileage, average speed, uh, total time, the battery. Um, it's, it tells you a whole wealth of information that you may or may not want to know, uh, but it's there for you. And of course, it's got modes. So there's rain, road and sport mode, um, which you can see what you're in there. Um, again i've gone through the the modes when i've been riding um and my the one that suits my riding is the sport do like that uh it's a really nice bike it's a really solid bike it's nicely put together you can tell it feels nice it's about nine thousand seven hundred. um is the base price uh but is you're getting a lot of bike for your money and of course it's a kawasaki so you know it's going to be good um so yeah that's that's it really that's your up close and personal look at the bike um don't forget to check out my review on bikercas.com um and if you could like and subscribe to my web, uh, channel that would be amazing your support is really really appreciated um, so uh, it's winter here, it's about three degrees and I'm freezing and I'm going to go and find a coffee. I'll catch up with you guys soon.